Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm going to make a video about the RZ67 uh, Pro 2 um, that has the fine focus gear. Um, a lot of them break because they are plastic. So um, I'm going to open this up and replace this fine focus gear with a 3D printed gear that I got um, off eBay. Um, these came from Switzerland, so it took about, I would say, 10 business days to get it. Um, not too bad. Um, it was packaged in a um, padded envelope and came in the styrofoam so they wouldn't get damaged in transport. So I'm going to... Um, I bought two because I was like, if it happens again, at least I'll have another one. Or if this happens to somebody else, maybe I can help them out. So this is the gear that we're going to be um, installing. So to open up the RZ, uh, this uh, rubber cover off, which you can just pry off, it's just glued down. There's a screw inside the cap here so you just unscrew this cap and just remember that um, these are JIS screws and not Phillips head screws so and what I've been doing lately is I just put a piece of um, gaffer's tape down to hold my screws and I'll show you why I do that in a minute and that's just the cap the next thing you want to do is take off the locking bolt. And I'm using a number 10 socket, 10 millimeter socket to take this off. Okay, once you get the bolt off, it just unscrews. And then the fine focus gear, um, focusing knob just slides off. Okay, the next thing we need to do is take off this bottom cover, which is held on by one screw here, three screws underneath, and two screws um, on, on the top part. Um, these two screws will have these rubber stoppers in them. You need to use a... Um, if you use like a um, razor blade, that's why I took mine out with, like just very gently with the corner of a razor blade, you can pry them out. Okay, once you have the screws removed, you can simply lift the cover out, it comes right out. Okay, so that's the bottom piece. And what I've done here is I put the screws back in the order they go on the bottom part so that there's no confusion when I'm reassembling it. The next thing we need to do is remove the top cover, which is held on by this uh, bolt here that's around your lug, your strap lug. You need to remove the MR uh, lever. And there's one screw here one screw here, one screw here, and one screw here. So the first thing we'll do is remove the um, strap lug. And you need a spanner for that. Um, mine was really, really tight when I first did it. 
Um, I don't know why, but just know that you may have to use some muscle to get um, get it off. What I did um, so that I wouldn't scratch the body was I put gaffer's tape around everything so nothing would get scratched. And um, after I took it off, I noticed that there was like some rust or build up there. And then the next thing you want to take off is the MR switch. Okay. The switch just slips off. Underneath the MR lever, there is another screw. Let me remove that. Next screw is right here, above the distance scale. Now there's one here, right by the focus lever. This screw is much longer than the other ones. One here. Okay, now that's all the screws, and now you can just uh, lift off this top cover. It comes right off. So now we have the top and bottom cover removed. This is the actual gear that we'll be changing. Um, when you focus, um, both these gears change, both these gears rotate. So we need to remove this and this is held on by um, C-clip. Just be careful removing this. Um, this will probably take me a little time because I don't have the proper tool for it. So I'm probably gonna use two screwdrivers to get it off. Or tweezers, let's see if the tweezers work. So, okay, once you get the C-clip off, the gear just lifts out. That's the old gear. And if you see, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's kind of worn and beat up. Um, the teeth are missing in like one whole section. So we're gonna replace, let me see the other one that they sent. Okay, so I'm glad I ordered two because the first one did not fit. It definitely did not fit. Um, I don't know if um, there seems to be some parts on here that weren't cleaned up. So maybe if I clean it up, I'll be able to get it on. But I'm glad I ordered two. Um, this seems to be working fine. Um, the focus is pretty smooth. Okay. So I'm glad I tried it before I put it back together because I would have had to take the whole thing apart to get the gear back on. Um, basically, you would just uh, reassemble everything in the reverse order. And that's it. Thanks for watching.